I saw a man started for me as a novel with a very, very strong image, which was of a man uh, walking into his neighbour's back door um, on a very hot summer's afternoon, uh, thinking that his neighbour's house is empty, but actually it turns out that it isn't. Um, and that was really all I had for quite a long time, but that's actually now how the book opens as well. Um, and that man is um, a character called Michael Turner, and at the point that we meet him, at that point that he's walking into his neighbour's house, he's um, a British journalist who's been successful in the States before moving back to, um, to London, where he meets uh, Caroline Marshall, who's um, a reporter, uh, and they fall in love, and they marry, and they move to Wales. But the lure, the seduction of Caroline's previous life in the field is still very strong in her. Um, and so she decides to do one last job on the uh, Pakistan-Afghan border. And it is her last job, but not in the way that she was expecting it to be, uh, in that she, um, she is killed on that last mission. Um, in the wake of her death, uh, Michael moves back to London and he moves into a flat, and in the house next door is the uh, Nelson family, so Josh and Samantha Nelson and their two daughters. And over the next six months, Michael develops a very, a very quick and a very intense friendship with the Nelsons, and in that way that sometimes happens, he sort of becomes that third wheel in the marriage that helps it all to run smoothly. Um, and it also marks, I think, really the beginning of his healing process, which is interrupted abruptly on this day when he enters their house, thinking it's empty, but within five or ten minutes of entering, he finds that actually there is someone else in there. And it's Michael's journey through the house that, although the only takes around five or ten minutes in real time. It's that that forms the narrative spine of the novel. And from that spine, the story looks both ways, backwards through Michael's life with Caroline, and then forwards through uh, Michael's having to witness the consequences of what happens inside that house, um, because he continues to live next door to the Nelsons uh, and has to silently live with what he knows happened in there. And, and I guess what we witness uh, as uh, readers of the novel are also his silent and his secret attempts to atone for what's happened.